So this is the breakup of the book. Um, introduction, obviously. Methodology. You know, we'll go through this this morning. Uh, this is what I've felt has been lacking in, in systems performance and also performance in general. There's documentation for methodology. When you watch an expert tackle a performance issue, they know where to start, they know what sequence to go through in diagnosing it, and few people have tried to document those. I was inspired by Carrie Millsap, created Method R for Oracle Database Analysis, and it's pretty simple. But sitting down and giving you a, an enumerated methodology to step through a problem is a really good idea. And so this is the, the thing that's most new in this book and I think is going to shock a lot of readers when they get a copy of it is like, where did all of this come from? It's like, I made it all up. Well, in, in a way, it's my experience for a decade doing performance and just writing it down and saying, I, I do need to write down. And this is also what happens when you tutor someone is you're telling people, this is how you approach a problem, and this is the this is the sequence that you go through from having no no idea where to start, and then to the root cause. And so those are methodologies. I've given a bunch of the names. I had one published in ACM, which was the use method, but there's a whole bunch more. So I'm really excited about that because it's uh, it's new and it's useful. I've also created a lot of tools in the past. So I created the Dtrace toolkit, and I've, I've created hundreds of Dtrace tools and case stat tools and whatnot. And as I've learned, tools don't help people solve, tools don't help beginners solve problems. Tools do help experts solve problems because you see, oh, I, I knew I needed that thing. But for a lot of the, the real big audiences, I don't know where to start. And I, I, I have a tool and a problem, and now I have two problems. I'm trying to understand what the tool does and how to use it, and I still have the problem. Uh, a lot of tools are also created without having a clear idea of of solving problems and it makes it more confusing. So methodologies I think is great and I'm really trying to shift the industry because it sh it's about solving a problem. And then from the methodology you, you then go and find the tools to uh, help. Operating systems. I helped with Science Internal second edition. I, um, I, apart from read every page, I also did a lot of editing throughout it and wrote a bunch of stuff for it. Um, fantastic, I love operating systems, internals. That book was a, a, over a thousand pages, just hit a thousand pages. My task was to summarize operating system internals in 30 pages and to give you the bare minimum for how kernels work and how schedules work and things like that. Now there's more of this in later chapters as we, as we dive into other areas, but since this book is intended for everyone, I thought that was a, a, a nice goal to really summarize it and, uh, and I accomplished that. So I'm, I'm really excited by that little summary. It took a lot of effort to whittle it down to 30 pages. Observability tools just to understand what types exist uh, and a crash course into Dtrace. And I know some of you use Dtrace already, that's fine. Applications is where I begin at applications and discuss uh, performance objectives, uh, what it means to measure success, whether that's latency or a business metric. Then this is the typical uh, systems performance chapters, CPU, memory, disks, and network. Uh, that's been done, as far as I know, this approach was invented by Mike Lakitis back in 91 for the system performance book, O'Reilly, where he had this very resource-orientated approach, CPU, memory, disks, network. And everyone has followed suit for decades. And if you look at performance books and performance material, they divide up systems performance. In, like, we almost don't even, don't even question it now. Uh, in, by 2006, for the Solaris performance book, we added an extra resource, file systems. Because at that point, file systems themselves were starting to be, since they have so many parts, they've got so many layers of caching and buffering, they're basically their own resource. Um, and then you have separated them out from disks. So this is really the set of five resources these days. Uh, cloud computing, and I do both OS and hardware virtualization, and that was probably the hardest chapter of all of them to write because it is how Zen works and how all of that stuff works is extremely complicated. Uh, benchmarking for success. And then there's some extra stuff which I won't go through in the class. 
Any questions about the, oh, I should say the, my focus will be SmartOS, but I'm also going to mention Linux. The book has, does both. In fact, the book leads with Linux. So SmartOS is secondary as it is in the, in the book, which was designed for the audience. That means it will sell more copies, more people, there are more people in the Linux community. Uh, and it'll still give them exposure to SmartOS. So you're reading your Linux thing, you turn the page, and then there's all this detrace on SmartOS, and, and that sounds cool. Yes? Is there, um, in your methodology section, like, do you have like a very strict mapping of like each thing in the methodology to like a tool? That would actually be awesome. I don't know if that's a question or just like feedback. Yeah, yes. Now, some of them I do mention the tools uh, for the methodology. Uh, one, and we can do that, and I want to do that uh, on the whiteboard, is that for this like thread state analysis, which I hope to get to today, mapping that to the tools, because it's really, really useful. Ultimately, what many of these methodologies should become is wizards in performance analysis products. So I'm a bit tired about these third-party performance analysis products that put line graphs on SAR and then sell it. Uh, you, now it looks pretty, and people buy it, and you do solve some problems, but you can do so much more. And so what they could do is have wizards for the methodologies. So just click on thread state analysis. And we're doing thread state analysis because it makes sense. Because we, just, we, we began with the questions we wanted answered. And then that third party analysis tool gives us the metrics. So I think that's the goal, is, is we actually want wizards for all of these that do it for us. So I want to use method wizard in cloud analytics. Um, and I still need to add the tickets and bugs so that they have enough metrics to do that. But um, yes, ultimately we want this easier. But for now, I'll do some of it on the whiteboard. Uh, any other questions about content? All right, let's get to it.